bang, you're dead. Today we're going to have a look at this pen, Mont Blanc, Meisterstück, Great Masters, James Purdy, and Sons. Let's make this name as short and easy to say as we can in it. Mont Blanc, Purdy and Sons. If you were unfamiliar with Purdy and Sons, I have to admit I had never heard of Purdy and Sons. This is absolutely a lack in my education. It does not reflect on the pen, but James Purdy and Sons are fancy gun and rifle makers, and I thought they were based in London. Now, this is the type of company that makes rifles that are expensive, right? Expensive, exclusive rifles. Um, interesting collaboration between Mont Blanc and that company. The pen is made of walnut wood. I will say it looks gorgeous. I, I, I can't say anything beyond it. It does have uh, this checkering, which they actually call Purdy checkering. So I don't know if that's exclusive to, to Purdy, but I assume this is what you find on their rifles or guns as well. Um, nice ruthenium fittings, uh, which kind of match the pen, give it a slightly dark look, uh, and I, I kind of like that. And that's all there's to it. So, I'm going to show you the parts of the pen in more detail, then I'll do a writing sample, and then I'll tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it. Final thing I should say, this pen was lent to me by Applebaum. Thank you kindly for that. And thank you for the the trust because this is a thirty five hundred dollar pen uh, that that uh, that is I think Canadian but still that is this is not a fifty bucks pen so um, uh, let's get started I'll try not to drop it okay let's talk about the Mont Blanc Purdy so we have our Meisterstück Great Masters James Purdy and Sons and the boxing is rather ridiculous, if you ask me. Uh, it's, it, I, I'm, I'm sorry, it's, it's so large, I mean, I have to lift up the camera to really show this. So, th th that's the box, very nicely designed. So, we first had a white cardboard outer sleeve. Then we have this uh, cardboard outer sleeve with um, the, the actual uh, shop, Purdy's and Son shop on the box. Now we have another cardboard outer sleeve. Then we have a wooden box. So we have three separate pieces of cardboard and then a wooden box. It's very nice wooden box. I, to be honest, wish there was just one cardboard sleeve. This seems like a bit of a waste to me, but that's just me. Beautiful wood, very nice. Magnetic closure. At least as far as I can tell it was a magnetic closure. Nice booklet, booklet, sorry, uh, history, details of the pen, etc. Very nicely illustrated. So, I mean, this is, this is a very nice, they, they, they really uh, spent some time on that. A rather thick pen sleeve, and then, of course, you have the actual pen. Let me put this away, let me show you the pen, and then go over its parts. This pen is basically a 146, uh, as many of these pens are, but now clad with something special. The Moon Pearl is a similar type pen. Um, we've seen a number of these pens in reviews over the years. And you see this pen next to a Twisby Diamond 580. So, it's not a 149, it is a 146, but it feels a bit heavier, it feels a bit bigger, but that's because it's clad with something. Okay, in this case, walnut wood. Okay, so, we have this pen, um, nice range of nib options, extra fine, all the way to double broad, oblique medium, oblique broad, oblique double broad, oblique triple broad. Uh, so that is rather nice, ruthenium uh, uh, plating there to, to make it give it that sort of dark look. As I said, walnut wood, this is definitely a, a, a rifle uh, type detail. And then there is also the Purdy and Sons logo inlaid on that. So a lot of eye for detail. Okay, past the pen, beautiful mother of pearl. Uh, Mont Blanc right there on top of the cap. We have the clip. Clip works well uh, as you would expect from a Mont Blanc. I really like this checkering. It looks cool. It has a nice textile, uh, sorry, tactile uh, uh, sensation. Center band right there. It says Meisterstück Mont Blanc, Meisterstück Mont Blanc, Meisterstück Mont Blanc. We can do this all day. 
barrel continues nicely. These two points in that checker ring point at each other, line up. This lines up. That lines up. And I'll show you why in a second. Nice detail. And being wood, that is kind of cool. Piston turning knob. Unscrew the cap. Then we have the nice ruthenium coated nib. Uh, it has the uh, Montblanc logo, it has the, what I assume is the Purdy and Sons logo, it says 4810 for the height of the Montblanc, um, and, sorry, I have to take, get this a little closer, I'm looking around the camera tripod, uh, it says Montblanc, and it says AU750, so it is an 18 karat gold nib, in this case, medium. Piston filled pen, no ink window. Uh, barrel is, sorry, the section is not tapered, it's a, it's a pretty straight uh, section there and it's a comfortable pen and it does not post so this is what you have. Threads here a little sharp I must say um, but for me the section is large enough to hold it in such a way that I I don't really I'm not really bothered by these threads but they are a little sharp. One nice thing is that you have these threads and then right there is a stopper. You see that thread ending there? So the nice thing about that is that no matter how you start out capping this pen, these facets will always line up because of the stopper. And I think that is a very nice touch and something that really sets this pen apart from a lot of other pens. So there's good eye for detail from Mont Blanc, that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, I'm not going to write down Great Masters, Meisterstück, etc. I'm just going to call it the Purdy, if you don't mind. 18K, medium, and the ink is Mont Blanc. Toffee brown. Very nice brown. The pen writes very properly. I have not had this pen run dry. I have not really had it skip. Uh, that's great. What I will say is, because the nib is coated in ruthenium, that looks really cool, gives it that dark look, but the tipping is also plated as far as I can tell, and it does detract a little bit from the overall smoothness. So don't expect a glassy smooth nib. You do feel feedback as you write with this. So it's not super smooth, but it's pleasant. I find it very pleasant. Wetness. And this is the pen writing under its own weight. I didn't apply any uh, pressure to it. Not a gusher. Line variation, as always, very careful. Can squeeze out a tiny bit, but be very, very careful when you do so. It's not a flex nib. Reverse writing turns this medium into a very skinny extra fine, and it is possible, and it does keep going for a bit, which is nice. Alright, let's discuss what I like about this pen and what I don't like about this pen. Okay, what do I like? What do I not like about the Mont Blanc Purdy? Beautiful pen. I can't say anything else. Beautiful pen, well made. Tolerances, perfect. Wood, beautiful. Uh, this this checkered pattern, it's very very nice. So no issues there. I also really like that large nib lineup. Montblanc is one of the few companies that still offers a lot. Extra fine, fine, medium, broad, oblique, medium, oblique, broad, oblique, double broad, oblique, triple broad. Large lineup, and that is a lot of fun because a lot of companies these days are fine and medium, right? Or fine, medium, broad, and that's it. So I do really like that. The wood is warm. It has a warm feeling to it. It has a warm look to it. I think it's really great. So that is very, very nice. Pen writes beautifully. It's not, as I said, it's not glassy smooth. It, it, it has a bit of feedback. I think that's because the ruthenium coating on that nib, but it writes very pleasantly, a very pleasant writer. And these pens in particular, these, these special 146s that Montblanc does, I've seen that on Aziza's Moon Pearl. I have used other pens in this lineup. 
they're heavy and they're solid and that solidity makes for a very pleasant writing experience and good eye for detail putting a little stopper in the threads so that the parts of the pen that should line up always line up like this this metal part there that's just great and it's great eye for detail and you would also kind of expect that at the price and that brings me to things I don't like well one thing I already mentioned the ruthenium coating on the nib detracts a little bit from the absolute smoothness but it's not scratchy it's just a type of feedback that to be honest I find pretty pleasant I kind of like it but here's the big thing this pen <laughs> comes down to 3050 euros and that includes 21% VAT but you're looking at about 3500 dollars US um, ka-ching as it were that is a very very serious price and I can't really do anything about it so I can't really say anything that tells you how exactly this is justified because at the end of the day it's a wooden pen gold nib piston filler um, Faber-Castell makes an emulsion that is wood uh, I think it's about 150 bucks uh, it has a steel nib but it's one of the most pleasant steel nibs I've ever used in my life not a piston filler though not walnut wood not purdy and sons but lot of money and you don't get a discount on these things either because it's Mont Blanc, so there's no official discount. So even my 10% discount code for uh, Apple Bomb would not apply here because it is a Mont Blanc product. Mont Blanc doesn't allow discounts. Now, of course, if you are outside the EU, you don't have to pay the 21% VAT. And on a pen of this price, 21% VAT starts to really add up. But even so, even so, even without the VAT, it's still a significant amount of money. One interesting thing is that I talked to a good friend who is actually into shooting and he said he handled an actual James Purdy and Sons, uh, I think he said shotgun, and he said the actual rifles are nicer than the pen. He is a pen lover and a rifle lover, so he would know. So there is that too. But in all, yeah, it's a very pretty pen, but this is one that requires uh, deep pockets. And that's the way it is. It is a special edition Mont Blanc, so you could kind of expect that, right? Having said that, interesting pen. Now, the real question is that someone's going to ask me, do you see the value in it? No. Not really. I understand it's wood. I understand it's specially made. I understand it, ha it has that checkering. It has the ruthenium covering. It has the 18K nib and the piston filler. About 3,500 bucks. I personally don't see it. Beautiful pen writes well, but that is, in my mind, pushing it a lot. But that's my opinion at the end of the day. The universe is change and life opinion. Marcus Aurelius. I hope this was useful, and I gladly see you later. Bye-bye.